Hey guys, Reef Spy here. Today I'm going to be doing a short instructional video on mounting coral frags. This is my 25 gallon reef and I've had a few frags sitting in my frag tank that I've been meaning to put into here for some time now. I plan to put a Duncan coral on this little ledge right here and I have a green Monty cap that I want to stick up there. All right, so here are the frags that I'm going to be putting into there. Uh, the one on the bottom, that is the Duncan. The one on the top is the Monty Cap. Um, I got the Monty Cap last week, and the Duncan I got a few weeks ago, and these have been sitting in my frag tank. I've already dipped these and inspected them for pests, and they're, they look okay. Uh, so what I want to do is uh, get these into this tank here. They're mounted on your standard ceramic frag plugs. Now, some people... Uh, don't like these and they like to take the corals off of them uh, other people don't mind um, me personally I don't really mind them because if I'm doing my job right these things should grow and cover that and you won't see it uh, the one thing I don't like are the little pegs um, if you have the proper rock work you can typically stick them into there somewhere and you're good to go uh, where I want to put these there's nowhere to do that so what I'm going to do is cut the stems off of the, the disc part of the frag. Uh, use some coral epoxy and some super glue and glue these into place. What I'm going to use is just a pair of bone cutters. I got these from Bulk Reef Supply. Uh, very handy to have if you're going to be working with frags at all. Uh, now I will say you do want to be careful especially if you're cutting frags. Um, right now I'm not really going to be messing with the coral itself, just the frag plug. Uh, but if you are cutting frags, always wear eye protection. Uh, you don't want any of this stuff getting into your eyes and you know, could cause some damage. So what I'm going to do is just take this and cut that off. It's very easy, with the right tool. So now I have my uh, piece here. I just want to put some epoxy onto there and glue it into place. For the epoxy, I'm going to be using... I believe this was two little fishies uh, aqua gray epoxy stick if you look online you'll find it um, I've tried a few different ones this one seems to work very well for me comes in this nice tube just open it up take this out uh, if your skin is sensitive you may want to wear some gloves for this um, I've used this several times and it's never seemed to bother me as long as I do is just take a little pinch off of here about that much should be fine for this one frag. I just want enough to uh, use to mount this onto there. It's not really going to be um, holding any weight or anything, just enough for it to fill into the cracks and stick my frag plug into place. Okay. And you can feel it just kind of getting a bit softer as the two chemicals mix together. Roll that up, and I got a nice little ball here. Then I use my super glue. Uh, this is the Bulk Reef Supply Extra Thick Glue, I believe it was. Um, you can get the super glue uh, in tubes. I prefer to get it like this. They sell it in this nice little plastic bottle. The reason being, sometimes the tubes seem to clog up on me and just with the squeezing them and everything, they kind of get all misshapen and uh, sometimes they clog up, you don't get all the glue out. I've never had a problem with these and you know, if glue does dry up on the end here, typically just peel it right off and you're good to go. So, take this. So all I'm going to do is put a dab of glue onto the end of this little ball I made. Take my frag. Just stick it onto there. Then I like to like kind of mold it into sort of a point like this. And then put a nice glob onto the end there like that. Okay, now all I need to do is just take this and stick it in place where I want to put it. So 
let me adjust the camera so we can see what's going on here. All I need to do is just give a little bit of pressure and it is in place. That's exactly where I wanted it. And that's basically it. Um, you're just gonna let it dry and that's where it will stay. And this method, uh, the frag plugs seem to make a good connection to the rock work. They stay in place. And since I didn't use an extraordinarily large amount of putty or glue, uh, if I do need to move that, it's quite easy to just stick my fingers under there and pry that off and move it to a new location uh, if I want to. I'm going to go ahead and do the other one, but I think that will conclude this video. I hope this was helpful. Any comments, please leave them below, and thanks for watching.